Hello students, today we are going to study about light and shadow. So today's topic is light and shadow. As we enter a dark room, we cannot see anything. But the moment we switch on the bulb or we switch on the light, we can immediately see the things kept around us. We can see the things around us because the objects are visible only because of light. When light falls on any object, we can see that object. Therefore, light is very important to us just as our environment around us. So, light is a form of energy that enables us to see the objects. Source of Light The object that gives us light is called the source of light and sun is the main source of light for our planet. Sun is the natural source of light. When light falls on any object, it can have either of the three effects on it. Transparent, translucent or opaque. Transparent objects. Transparent objects are those objects on which light can pass through them. For example, clear glass, clean water and we can see through the transparent objects. Translucent objects. Translucent objects are those objects through which only some amount of light can pass through. We can see through translucent objects but not very clearly. For example, tracing paper, frosted glass, wax paper or butter paper. Opaque objects. Opaque objects are those objects from which light cannot pass through or we cannot see through the opaque objects. For example, wood, chalk, paper or any organism. When an opaque object is placed in the path of light, a dark patch is obtained behind the object that is called a shadow. Opaque objects form shadow. The size of the shadow so, let us take a source of light and a cardboard screen. Place the cardboard screen in a dark room. Ask your sister to stand in front of the screen. Now, light a torch and see the shadow of your sister. We will see that the size of the shadow is equal to the size of your sister. Now, ask your sister to come nearer to the source of light. We will see that the size of the shadow will increase. Now, the size of the shadow is bigger than size of your sister. So, we learnt that the size of the shadow depends upon the size of the object and the size of the source of light. It also depends upon the distance between the source of light and the screen. And it also depends upon the distance between the object and the screen. Eclipse We know that Earth revolves around the Sun and the Moon revolves around the Earth. It so happens that Sometimes the earth, the sun and the moon comes in a straight line. The, the path of the light is blocked by the earth or sometimes by the moon and a shadow is formed. This is called an eclipse. Solar Eclipse Solar eclipse is that situation in which the sun, 
the moon the earth comes in a straight line with moon in the middle the shadow of the moon falls on some part of the earth then the solar eclipse eclipse can be seen from this area on the earth during a solar eclipse the dark part of the moon is facing the earth therefore solar eclipse always occur on a new moon day lunar eclipse Lunar eclipse is a situation in which the sun, the earth and the moon again are in a straight line with earth in the middle. The shadow of the earth falls on moon. When new lunar eclipse occur on a full moon day as the moon's brighter side faces the sun. Now know this night is a shadow when night falls you are standing within the shadow of the earth thank you